hmm, you better go get you some false uh <laughs> makes. We don't know if, we, if you don't tell us or whatever. I don't know where the fuck. You walk around with a damn gotcha. It ain't no Gucci. It's a gotcha. But <laughs>
and always find a simple name. You ain't got to put your name in everything. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so sick. Everybody want to put their face on the package. Everybody want to put their name in the title or whatever. Ooh, I swear. Everybody want to be Madam CJ Walker. <laughs> Ooh, but anyway, yeah. Think of something that somebody is going to remember. Uh, bougie, walk a foot down the fly in the sky. Nobody is going to remember that. To share us where you get that from oh bougie something you got to put give a name that okay it's easy for them to remember okay jazz at boom jazz .com. too easy <laughs> too easy give them something that they can remember easy when you expand don't it looks funny when somebody say okay okay authors makes make lashes and then when you start trying to expand and add other stuff in there, it just looks funny when you add in shoes and everything under a name that makes is set on lashes. So give your business something that it can expand and it will still go all together. I think you understand that. If you don't, then hey, I don't know. But um, set your budget of what you're willing to start off with with opening your um business and get it running and everything start really small see what's going to sell get uh whatever and you must have i should have said this before you must have a website you you got to have a website nobody wants to dag on do cash app and dm and, and all of that that's old that's no this new money right here <laughs> all the new money the good money is on online they don't got to talk to you or nothing like that you missing a whole lot of sales if that's what you're doing with the dm me because i done been seeing some stuff that i really wanted to purchase or whatever but when i hit that and it ain't got no website and it say dm i said i ain't got time anybody physical go through that i'm not physical through that and i'll leave it oh nah it ain't for me but okay yeah with that what's next what products that you're gonna have available you got to think that out put it in your little organizer planner whatever so you will already know what's going on find your vendor wherever it might be you can search high and low don't pay for no daggone vendor list don't, don't that stuff that you can find for free now if you want to be lazy then okay be lazy and pay for it but uh you don't have to pay for no vendor list you got too many people giving out free information for you to be paying 30 and 40 and 120 dollars for a damn vendor list no nah mm -mm. so when you uh practice whatever you're selling whatever your um skill is whatever you're doing practice it before you start offering it to people get uh your little samples and everything together and practice on yourself let your family members or whatever practice on them before you start trying to sell to other people i actually saw um something a female i posted and she said um thanks for you guys that purchased for me and support me if it wasn't right then bear with me i'm still learning no bitch if i pay you my money i won't you i want to know that you already you know master this before you start selling it to me because i'm i can bet you that anybody that saw that and bought something and it did wasn't right they're not going to purchase again no we looking for long term we looking for long term you know commitments here when it comes to okay people spending their coins they got to feel like okay dang you know what i'm coming back i love me some daggone repeat customers and that's mostly what my daggone um revenue is repeat customers because uh <laughs> I'm in it to win it here. You can click on my link. Uh, I'm always popping. You won't. I know I talk about it in another video. You won't click on my link and it say under construction. It got, uh, it got two things on the page and it just look botched up or whatever. You can tell my stuff is currently flowing and a hey, it's in rotation. I'm doing this. But anyway, enough all, uh, about all that. Okay, what else? Presentation presentation is everything you don't want to post raggedy pictures you don't want to do raggedy videos on your uh your instagram page or whatever whatever you ever you're supporting understand that everything can't be perfect at all times i mean sometimes i put up some you know videos that i'm doing at night and everything but they're still they still look decent 
type thing. Like I've seen videos where okay, somebody has stuff on the table and they had plates or whatever that they was eating out of, like from dinner, sitting beside, you know, stuff. And I'm looking like, okay. Mm. Or your nails, make sure. Okay, when you taking pictures with your nails, don't let gunk and stuff be up under your nails when, pe when you holding the products and stuff. That, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no, mm -mm. that okay. Some polish that will suffice or whatever. Cause yeah, it's still clean. But you got gunk all under your fingernails while you dang on showing a picture or something. I seen one video where the girl was making the stuff with no gloves on. I was like, what in the? Who left the front door open? <laughs> I said, mm mm. I appalled. I, I appalled. Hats off to the young entrepreneurs, but you gotta do it right. You got to do it right, okay? We ain't wanna hear, well, I'm learning now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That money is already taught, okay? <laughs> but anywho, yeah, presentation. Take your pictures right, you know, have some, hmm, some organization about yourself when you're posting pictures and everything. Make sure you can see the true color of the product. But um, yeah, you want people to get on there and actually go through the checkout. You want them to convert and be a customer, not a potential customer. And some things like that will throw people off and they were like, pew, ah, oh, nah, I don't think so. Nah, she almost had me. But like when I say, okay, with your pricing, of your shipping and stuff like that which I think that'll be my third part to this complete you know thing so with your um, shipping you got to get it right because people will get there and see that okay the shipping is outrageous and they'll run for the hill so you got to get that right sit down and figure out you know what you can cut a cost for shipping and how to set up what you setting up like I said you have to have a website you have to to be able to expand and you know be at your best potential you have to get a website and um what else it's a lot of people I know have Shopify and their shops are connected to Instagram because okay everybody be on Instagram people be on Instagram while they at work supposed to be damn working people be on Instagram when they in the damn pooper on the shit of you Excuse my French. People gonna be on the internet, hey. <laughs> they could be in the hospital laying in the bed and they be on the internet, be on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's just what it is. So having your shop connected to Instagram and social media, hey, that's a win-win right there. So you have to have a website. No matter if you they do it with Shopify and connected, I don't know the other ones, any other ones that connect there i don't think big cartel does because i've been on big cartel i've been on store envy i've been on itsy i've been on all of them but i like shopify the best but um you're gonna have to need, you need a website so um when you're pricing your items you gotta take into consideration okay what you paid for the item you gotta take into consideration your packaging your shipping that you paid to get the item to you your materials time spent all of that all of that so when you selling whatever you selling for two dollars and you paid a dollar fifty for it help me make it make sense mm. Mm. <laughs> but anyway yeah you gotta you gotta put all of that into your you know pricing now, i ain't say overcharge people but you got to do your pricing right. Your pricing and your shipping pricing got to go together. Because if they feel like they're getting gypped. Pew! Okay, what's next? Packaging. Make sure your packaging is okay, nice or whatever, presentable. Your business cards. I make my business cards on... Um, I print them off myself. I just buy the... I do now. I buy the Avery um, template and I print them off myself. And it's the same thing as my magnet on my truck. 
I ain't write no code on that yet so y'all can see. <laughs> Bam. And it says tag us in your tag us to be featured and the coupon code I put right there because okay everybody wants a coupon code. <laughs> and at the bottom it says inventory added to wholesale weekly. <laughs> Let them know that wholesale is available. Say for instance if they wanted to start, you know, doing whatever they're doing or whatever. But yeah, I, um, you want to put those on the back of your cards because people are more likely to shop if they have a code that they know they're going to save some money or whatever. Because especially customers, loyal customers, you put a coupon code, they're going to keep coming back to you. They'll keep coming back to you. When you shop with me, every card that you get will have a coupon code on the back. I don't care if it's saving 25 cents. It's saving something for me thanking you for being my customer. So, yeah, that works. Um, Customer service can make you or break you. I know y'all getting tired. If you already a subscriber and you watch me, watch me. I can't stress this enough and I bring this up all the time. Customer service can make you or break you. Can make you or break you. Yes, it can. Like some of y'all don't like to dag on, respond to people. I respond if it ain't no dumb question. But a lot of my sales just come from me responding. And it's about stuff that, okay, I could see where, okay, you would want to ask more questions. But you just being rude, like, okay, oh, I'm, I'm closed on something. No, 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 no. Uh, Target open? If Target's open, you should be open. Okay? Them big businesses ain't made it like that by, okay, wanting time off and everything. You got a dang going to work. Entre a entrepreneurship. You want to be an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. <laughs> ain't no days off, bitch. <laughs> no. It's sometimes I'll be making posts of me doing work. It be 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm still packaging and making pouches and lip gloss and earrings. And dad going to check inside to make sure, okay, how many of what waist trainer I have available. What I need to dad going to restock. No, that no days off. You got to get it how you live. That's just how it is. So, are you ready to be an entrepreneur? Or are you just going to make excuses and be, oh, well, I'm going to set my days off. Okay, some days you're going to get customers. Some days you're not going to get customers. That's just how it is. Hey, you in? But is you out? <laughs> yeah, you tell me. But let's keep this going. So we're going to go ahead and summarize pretty much everything that I just discussed. Okay, you got to get your name scheme together. Make sure it's available because when you get that domain, you're going to have to change it to a whole other name because, okay, that one is taken. Do all of that research to make sure it's available. So when you time time to buy a domain, you know, okay, this mine right here. I can do it. I can make my domain and it will be blah, 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 dot com. Bam. I ain't going to get caught up at the last minute and have to switch your whole name because okay it's already taken as a domain okay your color scheme go with your color scheme figure out whatever color you want to do whatever really you don't have to but it looks cute when you send sending out package to whatever when somebody see your color scheme they know okay that's from you even if they order five six more packages they know it's coming from jazz X. okay do uh figure out what you're gonna do vending Get your vendor for from or whatever. Figure out if you're going to do wholesale. Figure out all of that and write it down so you can tally it up on how you're going to do it. A, B, and C. Point blank. Okay, your budgeting. Um, yeah, see where you're going with your budgeting. Test your product. Make sure it's safe to be giving it to people, selling it to people. Make sure it's A-OK. -okay. Presentation. Your social media appearance have a business account and a personal account I might stick my head in sometimes sometimes but most of the time I be on my workout page or whatever now that they know okay you can see some personal stuff but other than that I keep try to keep it business I'll say hey and now and again let people know that okay I'm a human but other than that I try to keep it you know business and what else promote and sell Promote, promote, promote. Anytime you open your mouth, you should be promoting. If you outside going to the store or something, promote, promote, promote. I started the test the tube thing and now everybody is buying test the tube because that 
right there increased my sales I ain't even want to, because on, I put a video up on my page of me letting a nurse when I went to the dentist test it out and she was like mm, I like that I like this one here and then the picture that followed was a picture that she purchased where I always try to get cut um, pictures with my customers when I'm out and everything too easy now if she had to say you had to say oh well go on my site or whatever all that it people ain't fit to do that but if they have it right in front of them mm, okay so boom but look at some of my videos to get the 411 on that because okay I'm not gonna go into that but um customer service can make you or break you stay keen on that customer service because hey people don't be playing when it comes to their money and people are always shopping on impulse when they want a, a question answer it's because they're ready to spend they're ready to spend so uh, I'll stress I, I can't say this enough and this is I'm gonna leave out on this note and then my next the next one is I'm gonna finish up with the sh uh, shipping but entrepreneurship you're gonna have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days well, I ain't necessarily the bad days. It's just okay. You're not going to get no orders. But someday you can be like, hey, bitch. <laughs> Woo, let's do it. But you got to be willing to, okay, to ride out through all of that. Ride. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And when it comes to your case okay, support, child, the people that support you most is people that you don't even know. You can have them sisters, brothers, aunties, and everything, and they won't share your stuff. They might share one, two, if that, or whatever, but it's the people that you don't even know that will support the hell out of you with no problem. And they don't even know your last name. They, hell, half of them don't even know your first name. They know your business. That's all they know. So keep pushing, because nobody going to support your stuff or care more about your business and your brand than yourself. So keep that in mind when you looking and worrying about somebody supporting you it don't even bother me no more <laughs> and look at me <laughs> but yeah so stay tuned for more videos and remember to be you because only you can do it best